Hi guys, Todd here, vlog time. Um, there's a thing. Should I change the way I say hello in my videos? I've been saying hi guys, Todd here for a couple of years. Getting boring. Ah, oh, well, that's the way I say hello. Well, not in real life, obviously. Sound right, Dick. Uh, right. It's actually Thursday night, and um, I'm... I'm I'm supposed to be tidying the shed up because I've got everything in here, but I've not got it where I want it, kind of thing. Everything's kind of all over the shop. Um, I've got all this shite behind me here. I've got my. Uh, thought I'd get organised, and rather than hunting for my screwdrivers and torques set everywhere, I got a. a so this will. Oh, that would go nice there. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Stay. So there's that. That the um, um. But that's not really vaping related. I tell you what. I did get. What I'm doing just now is. Oh, I opened this yesterday, and I've been vaping away with this. Um. I was actually thinking of doing a video for the roller by Atmazoo. It's been October, November, two years, three months since I got my first roller, and I still have one. It's like it's kind of like the roller and the Nemesis were are like the two longest serving members of my vape team. <laughs> you know, they've been here since near the beginning, uh, and they're still here. Uh, now the roller always, you know, there's no point in beating around the bush. Sometimes in the roller, the switch, the original roller when it came out, the switch could be a bit of a pain in the backside because the contacts could get dirty and you'd voltage drop and things like that. You had to clean it regularly. I mean, you really did, and you still do. They've got upgrade kits and the new contacts are better and you can get rhodium springs and all this kind of stuff. And if you do go for a roller, I'd advise going down that route, upgrading your spring. Uh, but, you know, it never let me down and it works. Then we had uh, the, the Dingo, uh, which was the baby one. Uh, then they had uh, the Guppy uh, and the BU. Uh, or by you, or whatever it is, or by me, by you, I don't know. Uh, which was the, the wee tiny one. Uh, and, and now I've got, uh, they sent me this on. This is not for review, they just sent it on for me to play with and uh, give them feedback on it. Now I know it's for sale, you, you can get it from various places. I think, who sells it in the UK? Uh, House of Mods sells it, I'm sure, in the UK. In fact, I'm almost positive. So if you buy it from House of Mods, say hi to Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Um, or you can go to the App Mizzou themselves. It's basically a big guppy. Uh, and this is it in brass. I wanted the naval brass one, but they didn't have any in stock. So I don't actually have a lot to say to you guys about it. I mean, the contacts and whatnot. Maybe I'll talk about it at a later date. But I just like that sheer simplicity of it it's just it's just this might sound a bit out there it's an at Mizzou product you, and that's the best thing I can say about it it's an at Mizzou product the guys at the lab know what they're doing um, also on top I've got the, the marquee uh, yeah, I, I know. You, listen, if I was to start pronouncing stuff correctly, I'd, you know, I'd, it'd be boring. But you, you've got to love these people that take pity on the poor Scots knob in his shed, you know, on the other side of the world, and send emails telling them how to pronounce things properly. You don't have to. You Honestly, you do not have to. But thank you to the people that do. Um, I still like Marquis. 
<laughs> it's got a, anyway, uh, so that's on there. Um, and this uh, bra. Going for the long shot. Uh, or I could do a Scott, do the cloud shot. Anyway, um, so that that arrived. So I've been vaping away with this, and it's a really good combo. That's at an eighteen five hundred, by the way. Um, and I'm using the webcam. That's why it's kind of, I don't know, the picture seems kind of strange. Um, what else I have to, I, and I have to say this. I have to put a shout out for this. Let's let's put it on this. Um, where is it? Because. I haven't raved enough about this, and I'm going to rave about this some more. Because I never get tired of looking at this thing. It's the Chris Munn uh, bell, the original bell cap for the K-Fun. It's just a thing of beauty. It really is. I think it's a thing of beauty. It just... That's a K-Fun, but it looks... Ah, stunning. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. So, Chris, thank you once again. Chris sent this on to me. I didn't pay for this. I got this free. Um, but I'm so chuffed that he did because I think it's stunning. Stunning. Can you say that word enough? No, you can't. Um, what else did I get up to? Oh, I also, uh, I did a deal, a swap. What did I swap? I swapped some gear and I got the, the BF99. Uh, and this is the, the micro mod. And it doesn't have a battery in it. I'll put a battery in it. Toti, uh, toti wee thing. Um, excuse me while I get my bog roll. Or vapor's towel, whatever you want to call it. Uh, now, I really wanted the BF99. The mod, I'm not, you know, it's a, it's a really good little mod. Uh, well, it performed really well. I've not got any issues with it. Um, and even though I got it second hand, um, you know, it's exterior wise, it's in great condition, so I'm chuffed with that. Uh, what am I vaping here? What am I vaping there? It's like an apple. Can't remember where I got that from now. Right, anyway, um it's it's a beautiful thing to look at. I mean, I know the picture quality is crap here but uh, it really is beautiful now the big thing apart from the fact that it's got the take that logo on it which is what i think every time i look at the the bf99 um it's got quite a tight airflow which i like for this type of vape now the thing about it was that it's supposed to have the ceramic coating on the deck and the top cap now robert ellis the grumpy old fart that he is Hi Robert, um, he did a review that I watched and I have to agree with everything, well not everything he said, and I don't agree with everything, he went on about the coating seeing how thin it was and how quickly it came off, I've got to say that the coating, you know, I thought it was like a ceramic base, I think it's just, it's stainless steel with a whatever, some kind of coating over the top, that coating comes off so easily, it is scary. Um, can I, I'll do the uppy closey thing. So it's fed from underneath. You've got a couple of little air holes underneath there. And see the, the top screw there? You actually fill the tank with that. It's quite smart. A little cotton build. Or you could put a, a U-wick through there as well if you wanted to. Um, and 
you know, it wicks and vapes away quite the thing. Uh, just to, to let you see, I'll see if you can see this. It's not showing up very well there. You see the coatings coming off. See all those round there? That's all the coating coming off of it. Um, back again. And, and it's the same in the deck. You know, underneath the cotton, it's, it's all coming off. So, whilst I do have to... If I'd bought this brand new, I'd be pretty pissed off. I would be pretty pissed off about that coating on it. And it's not like I'm the only one that's mentioning this. It's been mentioned before. What I will say, though, is the flavour off it's brilliant. I love the flavour off of it. For the juice I vape and the way I vape, it's stunning. Uh, no, I really like it. And once again, this uh, micro mod's no half bad either. Uh, not bad at all. It's just a sexy little combo. A sexy little combo. So that I bought, I, I swapped for that for my for my own collection uh, because that's the kind of shit that I like. Uh, I love airflow from underneath. Uh, it's just my personal preference. Um, what else? Um. These guys arrived from Kuro Concepts. Now, I don't know if you've seen uh, these vi videos kicking about. Uh, there's a, a, there is a video, uh, if you're on, on my Facebook page, you would have seen a link to the video. But basically, Kuro Concepts, you get these, or you can get these three little aluminium sticks, if you like, here. And I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Back again. Um, so each one has like this is the, the 0.25, there's a 30, and there's a 20 as well. Tells you the size of wire you can put through it. So um, I'll just get a piece of wire out here. My newly arrived wire from Stealth Vape. Thank you, Rob, if you're watching. Excellent delivery times as always. Um, set a bit of wire off. Now, um, so here's the point two. So here's the point two here. Now, hopefully you can see this. There is a hole on this section here. Little hole there. So you do it, take your wire, feed it up through that hole. Actually, I can't see what I'm doing. My eyesight's terrible. Not that hole, it was the other hole on the other side. <laughs> Funny. Uh, and actually, we'll do, do an uppy closey bit. Um, so hopefully, you can see that there's, you know, I'm passing the wire up there and it's coming out round about there and I just pull out however much I would want for my coil so say I wanted that much that was much more from a coil I can just leave it like that this piece here has a little nut on it there you just push that down and it's numbered so you can count your turns now with a really thin wire you don't want to squash this top bit down or you'll get the wire overlapping just rotate it leave as big a tail as you want and there we have a beautiful little coil don't know if you'll be able to see that Can you, yeah there she goes uh, Sorry, back again. So there we have a perfect micro coil. Now, I, I'm, you know, hands up. I I get a lot of this coil and stuff sent to me and whatnot, and I will go out on a limb and I will say there's some great coil and tools out there. I still use a screwdriver. 
Uh, I have a jeweler screwdriver set in my little tool kit and uh, I still wrap around a 2mm one. That, that's it. That's what I do. Uh, I find it extremely easy to do now and it's just second nature. If, however, you're new to microcoiling uh, or you're not sure about it or you want to do something different, then whilst these things are they're a wee bit on the expensive side. I can't remember the prices right off the top of my head. It's by, remember, Kuro Concepts. Uh, C-U-R-O Concepts. You would have seen the name on the side. Kuro Concepts. Uh, you'll find them on, on interweb. Um, you can do parallel coils, twisted coils. You can do the bloody lot. Uh, I do like them. I think they're funky as hell. Um, it would be nice if you had interchangeable rods. You know, having one with interchangeable rods. I suppose the only thing with that is that would mean, you know, the diameter of the top has to match the diameter of that. So you would have interchangeable rods and then you would need, inter, you know, interchangeable top caps as well. So I can see why they've gone with the, the three different ones. But uh, I really like them. I really like them. They're just, I think it's the colour. <laughs> uh, I, I just think the styling's pretty smart. Um, I'll tell you what I do have to do though. And I can't remember, is it Greg? Oh God, this is just so embarrassing. Um, the laddie's name again. I know that bit. Um, it is, it's Greg, I was right. Greg on uh, High End Mods uh, forum. Highendmods.net. Bunch of elitist twats. Um, um, so, that's that. Um, now, what else? What else? Been vaping on this today. This is what I've been vaping on. Brilliant. That's uh, Trip Hammer's Skittles, no less. Um, I got some of that at work today. Um, uh, Listen, the Vapor Giant, it's, it's, yeah, it's great. Um, so I've got uh, a review to do in all the Vapor Giant stuff by Nico Vapor. Um, Nico, he's an extremely nice chap. Um, right, what else? I might as well get this out of the way and talk about this. The K-Fun version 4. That's all the videos out now. And what is it? The... Uh, Saturday is the release date, I think, uh, the 6th, and I think it's come out at £122, I think it is, at Cloud9 Vaping. So there it is on the lab. Um, right. <coughs> That's that aniseed stuff again. Do you know what that is? That's I got sent that on from uh, ah, Lancashire Steam Company. Uh, and I forget which one this was. I get he sent on three of the new ones and uh, you know I, I said never send me e-liquid. Never ever 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 send me e-liquid because I won't review it or, or anything like that. Uh, I'm sure it's, that's it, Apple Bobbin. A complex blend of apples, rum and spices. The, do you know the reason I kept that bottle to vape on? Because it's like Christmas. Uh, it's exactly like Christmas. So if you want a mouthful of Christmas, uh, that's from Lancashire Steam Company. Uh, so anyway, that's, I was talking about the K-Fun, or trying to. Um... couple of things to clarify. 
the juice control is not what you would call it's not a juice flow control it's not for adjusting the amount of juice that you get to your coil it's an on off switch basically you turn it on or you turn it off uh, do you know if you want to fill the tank up turn it off that way you won't get juice pushing out the air holes if you're going on a flight you know because juice leaks out tanks when you go into a plane uh, close it off and it won't leak uh, that kind of stuff is on and off um, <sighs> I've been asked this so many times since the review went up if what's your verdict on the K-Fun 4? Would you buy a Scrape? Would you buy a K-Fun or a T-Fun and all this kind of stuff? Out of all of them, which do you prefer? I'll show you something. This box here is full of K-Fun tanks and accessories. Okay, K-Fun, you know, K-Fun light and all that kind of jazz. I am a huge fan of the K-Fun, as I said in the review. For me and the way I vape, the way I vape, right, let's just say I, it's hard for me to put myself in this position because everybody's in a different financial situation I would if I wasn't reviewing I would go and buy the K-Fun V4 because it's a new K-Fun that's on the market and I just want to try it out because that's the kind of geek that I am if funds were tight and I really really had to watch my money I would be quite content to stay with the, the K-Fun light or Light Plus or V3 or whatnot, because I find the builds that I do, the vape across the entire range, for me, I don't notice that much of a difference. Not a hundred miles. The flavour is a, you know, it's that, that much better on a K-Fun V4. Is it £120 better? No. Absolutely not. No. I wouldn't say if you were on, on a, a tight budget, should you go out and spend £120 to get the, the, the newest thing on the market? Nah, keep your money. Uh, because the K-Fun light that you have is probably doing is probably doing a great job and you don't need to go and spend that money. That applies to nearly all the kit in the market, to be quite frank with you. Um, you know, with the simplest gear, you can get a really good vape if you build right, if you get your airflow right. What you paying for is you know they've advanced out better materials the design that's gone into it all that kind of stuff i have a shitload of original k-fun accessories i don't want to jump onto the new bandwagon or i wouldn't uh, i'd wait for a while and see what comes and all that kind of stuff um i'm not bad mouthing the k-fun v40 this is very important i'm not bad mouthing it i'm not saying it's bad it is not but if you have, if you're worried about spending the money, don't worry about spending the money. Uh, be happy with what you've got just now. Does that make sense? Don't go twisting my words on that. Please don't. And I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Is just. And which one's the best out? The K-Fun Light, uh, the the Squape, and the T-Fun, and the Rose, and the K-Fun V4. What's the best out of all of them? Depends what kind of airflow you like. If you like a really full-on airflow, then I would say get the, the Scrape R. The, the airflow in that is amazing. Uh, really is. Uh, if you're more about flavour, K-Funds win for me in that one. Um, I've never done this before. I've, I really have never gone and said what one's my favourite. If I want to blow clouds, or if I want to get really... <gasps> I would go for the, the square par. Flavour, 1.3, 1 1.4 ohm coil, uh, nice vape, my kind of airflow, I'd go for the K-Fun. That's my take on it. 
which is probably different to everybody else's. That's why you should always try and get a shot. Go and find somebody that's got one and have a vape in it and see what you think. I mean, to be perfectly honest, all this sitting in front of a camera talking, you know, at the end of the day, it's just, it's just somebody's opinion, you know. How's that? Uh, I'll probably get murdered for this. Anyway, um, that's another thing. I'm still talking about money. I bought the, the Privari P3 for the, the K-Fun review because uh, I wanted to show the connector off and all that jazz. Uh, and I, I always was going to sell it afterwards. Uh, I probably will end up keeping it now. Um, but <laughs> I'll always sell it. The site where it came from, I just sell it for £60 under retail. Uh, I can't get shot sure of it. Uh, and it, I found that really, really strange. Uh, and for me, it's I don't. It could be because it's right before Christmas. It could be. And there are some sites where it's you know it works out about forty. It only works out about forty pound less than a retail price. Um, so that might be another thing. But uh, I, I'm just you know. God, there was a time of a, a brand new Privari for that much off retail. It would have been snapped up. And I think that's a telling sign of the market, myself. Um, strange one. Make of that what you will. Uh, right. What else have we got going on? Um, I've, I've got to show you the Celt. I have to do the review for the Celt very soon. Because it's a beautiful little device. It really is a beautiful little device. Um, I'm away, I'm away. I'll be back in a minute. Everything else you know about. Um, the skeleton key. Shut up. Uh, the skeleton key, I'm, I'm looking forward to that one as well because it's it's still a beautiful device. Um, oh, sorry, I'm just putting this in silent for a minute. Uh, ah, there we go. Um, that's it. Right. I think I'm going... Is there anything I've got left to say? Right, who's been in touch? Um... I'll tell you who's been in touch. Right. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll say this here now. Uh, the El Toro device. El Toro. El Toro. El Toro. There you go. Excuse me while I pull my brakes up. Oh, there it is. There we go. Right. The El Toro by Greek Vapes. Now I have a disclaimer in my review thing, you know, when I go to do reviews, people want to send me stuff, I say, it's down to me whether or not I review the item. And I'm not going to review this. Now, the reason I'm not going to review it, and this might, I might sound like a bit of a dick here. Um, this is you know, the El Toro, and this is it in Genesis configuration. Now, that is a behemoth. Not including drip tip or 510 connector, 66.03 mil. That, that's huge. Um, however, in seeing that, I mean, you thought the K-Fun V4 was big. I mean, there it is next to the K-Fun V4. You see that? <laughs> it's, a, it's a big bad boy. Anyway, where was I going with this? Right. Uh, do, uh, some of you might remember the GG UFS uninterrupted flow system. Was that what it was again? Now, the, the, the GG UFS, uh, I mean, it was made by Panty Hamster himself, you know. Uh, but, as I say, no matter if I think the guy's an asshole, um, 
he makes exceedingly good stuff. And the GG UFS was awesome. Uh, it was like a big tank that you could put like a, you could put a, a 306 AT in it or uh, something like that. And rather than putting drops of liquid in it, you know, three drops of liquid, you had this big tank of juice that just fed it all the time. And the quality of vape you got from it was amazing. Uh, well, this kind of, it's kind of similar, kind of similar. Um, I mean, it's got a really nice deck on it and all the rest of it. It's made really well. Um, but what you can do is you can, basically you can, you can run it as a Genesis like this, or, and if I figure out, remember how to do this, or I'll forget. See, this is this is this is me being a dick again. Let's take this to bits. Forgotten how I did it again. Oh, and that bit came. Oh, I'll do it just now. What you could also do with it is you can run it like a UFS but it comes with uh, a killer as well and there's a killer inside there and it's got that for you those of you that know the, the UFS you know how you had the, there's a deck that goes up and down to shut off the flow control the juice well it's got the same thing going on in the base there uh, it's, it's very very similar in that respect I just don't it, it, to me, it just seems like a a, a a backward step, and this, I mean, this is just, you know, me, I just, there's a lot to this, well, there's not a lot, it's, it's actually pretty simple, but it just, it's not for me, I don't want to be doing that again, I don't want to be going back and mucking about with this kind of system, uh, no matter how much I think it's well built and all the rest of it it's just not for me and I'd, I'd, I would struggle to <laughs> keep it together there's a bit yeah. sorry it's just fault bits on me no it's not it's, it's just me being a dick uh, what was I saying I it's not for me so this will be getting raffled off. This will be going to a charity raffle. Um, I feel you feel alright. I, I mean, I, yeah, to be perfectly honest, I feel alright, Dick. I mean, I would happily, quite happily, have sent it back to the guys. Uh, I don't want. It's not. That I don't want to do a negative review because it may vape really, really well, but it's just. It's just not, I'm past that kind of thing. I'll probably get slammed for this, but I, I don't know how to explain myself basically on this one. I really don't. I just don't know how to explain myself now. I'm sorry. But to the Greek vapes, guys, thank you for, do you know I'm going to build it? Def, fuck it. Fuck it. Right. Um... It's not, oh Christ, 33 minutes already. God save you, I'm so sorry. Um, is this wee nut come off here? Right, so that's that. Um, listen, I have got a lot of gear that has to be handed out very, very soon. Uh, I'll have to, you know, charity raffle or something like that. Uh, I need to get that done pretty too sweet. Um, because I have too much gear here, again, already. Um, I did, get, who else did I get contacted? That's what I was talking about. I got contacted by the guy that makes the the tan mod. Lost Vape Tan. I think Damien's going to be doing a review uh, pretty soon. Well, the guy actually said to me that he'd been speaking to <laughs> He said, <laughs> I've sent one to Damien already. So I replied to him saying, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing a review after Damien. I should always do a product review before Damien. <laughs> I thought I was serious. <laughs> um, also, the, the Uber Toot. 
Uh, I'll be having one of them coming as well, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, Damien did a, it was a pre-production one, uh, Bloody Good Vaping. He did a, a review on it. I think Just Poo uh, did a review on a build on it as well with his beautiful hands. Um, and do you know, I, I'm just talking shite now. Um, oh, Cloud9 are doing gyrap stands. I didn't know that. I've just got an email come in and tell me. Um, and, and I'm just reading their email. Uh, they're closed from the 18th to the 30th of December. Just in case you were interested. Um, right, what else? Uh, not a lot, really. Not a lot. Uh, I'll tell you something, though. See those wee uh, eye sticks? Uh, we got them in at work. And, uh, man, oh, man, they're flying out. Uh, folk just kind of get enough of them. Uh, yes, the, the voltage reading is all over the shop and whatnot, and it puts it higher than it should and all this kind of jazz. But, do you know, it's uh, for the money. It's just a, a, a super little thing. It really is smart. Right, so, uh, sorry, I better get it back in shot. I don't even know if I'm on here still. There's the base for this, the El Toro. And I've got a killer here, so I'm just going to screw that in there. I've no idea if this is how it works, but we'll soon find out. <laughs> I'll show you this. Now, this is it in killer mode. And for those of you that know the UFS, your mode. So, this bit here, there's a flat deck there. And basically, you screw this bit up and down to raise and lower the deck. A bit like the K1 V4, actually. In fact, it's exactly the same. Uh, you know, if it's up, then there's juice getting into the bottom. If it's down, then it's not. And you've also... So, I, that's my juice flow completely open. And I also have an airflow controller here. Sorry, I've not screwed this on tight or anything. So there's my airflow just about open. You can see that it's quite a, you know, a strange looking beast. Um, it did actually include a drip tip with it, which I will I will put on. Uh, or I will try. So there's a drip tip on it. So that's how it would be if you were running it in killer mode. Zoom back out. Hmm. Flavour. Well, I'm glad that I set this up now. I might have to review this after all. That is some vape. Right, enough. Uh, listen, I'll have gone back and edited this because uh, basically I was fanning about for so long. Uh, and uh, I edited it because it wouldn't have been fair you sitting there having to put up with me talking shit. Look at the clouds in here. <laughs> it's quite a tight vape. You wouldn't do a direct lung inhale with that. Even though it's got these two beastly holes there uh, it's still not getting what I would consider to be a great deal of airflow going in I've got to say that that's a tremendous flavour from that, that really is good uh, 10 out of 10 in that 
Do you know what it is? It is really a. It's like. Uh, it's a big cattle tank. That's really what it is. You know, you put your killer and whatnot in a cattle tank, and and that's essentially what it is. Um. Right, guys. Um, I'm going to go because I must be boring the tits off you by now. Um. What was that? Educating Rita. Remember that? You ever watch that? Julie Walters when she was young. Really hot with Michael Caine. Uh, there's a scene she says, she gets right in my tits. Is it Michael Caine says, show me the problem. Meaning. Anyway, I think that's how it went. I can't remember now. It was so long ago. Um, she was so hot. Uh, right, that's it. There'll be reviews coming along. There'll be other vape related banter and crap and whatnot. Um, have fun. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Cheers, guys. Bye now.